Alrighty race fans, welcome to another edition of the track review. Today we're going to take a look at a microscale electric set, Transformers. Uh, it doesn't appear that it's a, a specific movie theme set like some of the other manufacturers have done and maybe even microscale electric, but it's kind of a Transformers in, in general. Uh, you've got the Decepticons and the Autobots. So I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I've seen it around want to see what it's all about. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. We'll find out together. All right, we'll take a look at the back of the box here. This is what we'll get. Uh, hopefully all the parts will be in the box. I haven't really opened it up yet to check it all out. But uh, it's a crossover set. Um, we've got this tight turn, and we've seen this before in another microscale electric set that uh, it's pretty tight. It can give some cars problems. We'll see how these cars do. Obviously the hand controllers uh, that they emboss with the different uh, logos of the Decepticons and the Autobots. They give you a little idea how these cars are supposed to work um, in their transforming stage. So we'll open it up and take a look at it here in just a second. Alright, so here we are. Um, some promotional materials, set instructions, and the track pieces here. Actually, it's kind of an interesting crossover piece that they did here where they actually don't carry the rails all the way across. The cars just have the momentum that goes across. It probably makes a pretty smooth uh, X piece. That's a nice way to do that. Um, interesting. We'll see how that well that runs. And it looks like for the most part everything else is here. Um, power pack is an American plug, so that's good. Uh, the cars, they look relatively complete. They've been run a little bit. The braids are a little uh, uh, messed up, but we'll take a look at that. Um, they've been handled quite a bit, but they do look complete. So, all in all, it uh, probably is not a bad eBay find for uh, the price that we got it for. So we'll uh, we'll shake it all out here, clean it up, test it out, get it set up, and see what we got. All right, here we go. We got it all set up, and uh, went together reasonably well. Uh, I still think the um, Microscale electric track, the joints really aren't as good as they need to be. They they tend to hump up a little bit on either side. I mean, it goes together all right, but it doesn't settle in well in that. So, but uh, we cleaned up the cars, got the shoes or the braids all worked out. They do give you a lot of uh, wire on the controllers here, so you can actually stand up. Um, and walk around the track a little bit, something that you can't find on most other control on most other controllers and other brands. We put on some um, aftermarket tires on the back, and that really helps quite a bit on the handling. You can't run these cars really fast because there's a lot of weight to them, and just like you saw there, they tend to fly off because uh, they are very top-heavy cars. This car here in particular on this tight radius. And let's see, it's probably maybe the braid's not exactly happy. <clears throat> The uh, crossover piece is really nice and smooth compared to other brands that uh, have the rails that go all the way across where the cars actually have to actually run across a rail going that way. They've done a good job in that regard with this design, I think.
Alright, and then on these cars here, you just pull the top up and it turns into the transformer. We'll try to maybe run a few laps like that. I don't think they're going to run that well, but we'll try it. This is going to be real top heavy. Yep, there you go. So you got to run them really slow when you got the tops up on them. Alright, I think what we need to do, we need to go get our uh, track marshal in here and see if uh, that can help us out a little bit. Alright, we got Honey Bun, our track marshal, in here this time and uh, see maybe she can help us run some cars. Come on, honey. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. You're supposed to keep it on the track, not knock it off the track. Alright, so you're going to be like that. We're going to get the other one out here. Oh, they're both off. Come on. You're supposed to marshal the cars, not keep them from running. There you go. Stop. You knocked it off. Alright, well, there we have it. Microscale Electric's Transformer Track. Um, interesting little thing. Uh, a couple of pieces could probably be better like that U-turn up there. It's kind of tight on the inside, but uh, other than that, pretty solid set. Uh, all the pieces came with this one, and uh, it had some interesting, um, interesting features to it. Thank you for joining us.